Give it up for Jake Redpath. Yeah. How's everybody doing tonight? Yeah, having fun? Tell you guys a little story, get you acquainted with me. Uh, when I was in the fifth grade, they started a band program at my school. Uh, so I told my parents I wanted to learn to play the slide trombone. So we did it. We went out. We rented a trombone. Uh, and then I found out that band practice was going to be every day during recess. <laughs> and that's when I decided that I hated the slide trombone. <laughs> hated it. And I would never practice, but I didn't want to disappoint my parents. So at the concerts, I wouldn't blow into the instrument. I would just look at the other kids and slide it back and forth <laughs> in time with them. And now as an adult, I realize that if I would have just blown into the trombone, I would have been playing the trombone <laughs> the entire time. <laughs> and that's just kind of how my life goes. I make a mistake. 12 years later, I figure it out. It's too late. It's, it's done for. I was thinking about heaven the other day. I think if heaven is real, it's not as great as everybody says. Uh, the streets in heaven are supposedly made of gold. And if that's true, their schools must be incredibly underfunded. <laughs> <laughs> Paying for the upkeep and maintenance of those gold streets. They can't afford books for the district. <laughs> it's unfortunate, too. There are a lot of dead kids who never learned how to read. So. <laughs> so. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean it. You guys didn't hear about the dead kids? <laughs> Is that, okay. I also like to believe that all the angels in heaven are just dead Latino gangsters named Angel. Like, that's one of my favorite images. If God's gonna have an army, I say, why not an army of vatos, you know? Cut you, say, Odele. Whatever vatos do, I don't know. Soy gringo, I am. Very white, so. It's been a, a lack of angels lately. I don't know if you guys have noticed. Uh, they're not popping up in dreams. They're not appearing in visions. Uh, they're not in the outfield like they used to be. Do you guys remember when angels were in the outfield? It was good times, right? It was great times. There's one thing I never understood about that movie is why they took a whole baseball team full of angels to fix every game in the season instead of just taking one angel to fix a kid's shitty dad at the beginning of the movie. <laughs> Would have taken one angel to be like, hey man, maybe quit riding your motorcycle around so much. <laughs> Pick up your kid from the foster home. <laughs> it's a deep cut. This takes a certain type of person to like that joke because you have to, A, like shitty jokes, and B, love Disney for some reason. Like that's your cross section as an audience member if you like that. I watch a lot of movies. Uh, I watch a lot of movies on TV. Uh, there's one movie that's on TV every single day. Everybody has seen it. Round of applause if you've seen Forrest Gump. Have you guys? Everybody. Everybody has seen it. Let's try this. Round of applause if you like that movie. If you're a fan of almost everybody again. This is where we part ways. I hate that movie. I hate that quote people use all the time. Life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. I want to know where Forrest is getting his chocolate from, but he doesn't know what's in the box. It doesn't make... <laughs> any sense to me. <laughs> I like to think that there's like a deleted scene in that movie where he's on his way to the bus stop. He gets stopped by a crackhead. I'm not going to say whether he's white or black. I'll let you guys determine the amount of racial tension in this bit. <laughs> but he stops and he's like, hey, yo, man, hey. You want to buy some chocolate? And Forrest is like, fuck yeah, dude. I love chocolate. <laughs> totally down. He's like, I'm gonna be real, I found this in the dumpster like five minutes ago. So who knows what you're gonna get. <laughs> and Forrest is like, hey, wait a second. It's what my mom always says about chocolate. It's crazy that you a non-racial crackhead <laughs> and also my mother say the same thing about chocolate. It's wild. It's weird if you watch that movie and you pay attention to detail like I do, he offers a lady chocolate and then says that quote, and if that were me, I would have spit it out immediately <laughs> and called the authorities. I've been like, uh, hey, there's this guy down here at the bus stop. He's dressed like Pee Wee Herman, and he's giving out chocolate and saying some really cryptic shit about life. Also, he's got a bunch of feathers sticking out of his notebook. I think he's been killing birds. 
Either way, you guys need to get down here quick. <laughs> so you don't remember to hang it up, what's the point? You know? <laughs> I don't know, I don't think that quote is realistic either. Life isn't like a box of chocolates. I think if that quote was real, it would be life is like a truck stop restroom <laughs> because there's shit everywhere and I want out. That would be the quote. how I feel. <laughs> how I feel about it. I don't know. I like sports, but I don't like games. That's the thing about me. I don't, I'll give you an example. I don't like the game Jenga. It's just a game about cleaning up. That's all that is. I don't get the point of it. Uh, but I like sports. Baseball is my favorite sport. Uh, and people always complain. They say there's too many drugs in baseball. But I say nay. Not the right drugs in baseball. <laughs> Hear me out. MLB. Mushroom League Baseball. But instead of just the players, everybody in the ballpark that day eats like a quarter ounce of mushrooms. <laughs> this just got fun, right? The national anthem's a techno song now. There's no more straight lines in the outfield, it's just crop circles. The peanut guy, he thinks he's yelling the word peanuts really loud, he's actually just thinking the word peanuts really loud in his head. Can't figure out why he's not selling more peanuts. You guys know the thing that's like, da 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 da, charge. Now it's da 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 da, -da what is real? We don't know, we're all on mushrooms, man. It's the third inning, but there hasn't been an out. I don't know how this happens. This seems to defy the rules of baseball completely. That's just one idea I have about introducing hard drugs into professional sports, too. PHL, that's PCP Hockey League. Those fights are insane, are you kidding me? Like, you would wanna watch that? Dudes are taking all their gear off on the bench, talking about their kidneys itch. It's a fantastic sport. Right. Know, baseball is American, drugs are American. It's true, yeah. America was founded on drugs. I don't know if you guys knew that. Yeah. Everybody, everybody knows the only reason Ben Franklin took his kite out of that thunderstorm was because of cocaine. <laughs> There's no other reason. You show me somebody flying a kite in a thunderstorm that says they aren't on cocaine, and I will show you a liar flying a kite in a thunderstorm <laughs> on cocaine every single time, without fail. <laughs> Thomas Edison, the light bulb was only invented because Thomas Edison did enough ketamine to believe that he could sell the sun in a bottle to people. That's all <laughs> that invention is. <laughs> Harry S. Truman is from Independence, Missouri. Yeah, that's one of the meth capitals of the world. <laughs> now that atom bomb seems like a paranoid decision, doesn't it? <laughs> Do you guys know the S in his name doesn't even stand for anything? Yeah, it stands for speed. That's what it stands for. <laughs> Harry Speed Truman. 42nd president of the United States. I don't, I don't know what number he was. <laughs> I, the presidents can suck my dick, how about that? <laughs> yeah, the presidents can suck my dick and then I won't come as a sign of disrespect to them. <laughs> That's how much I don't like the presidents. <laughs> I feel like <laughs> some people sometimes they feel like I cross a line when I say that the presidents sh should suck my dick. Uh, it's not a very presidential thing to do, but you know, you know, live on the edge. I uh, I was in Westport the other day. You guys know area with a lot of bars. I was walking into a bar. This is like a really interesting thing that happened. I can't get it out of my head. I've been thinking about it nonstop. <laughs> ever since it happened. I was walking into a bar, minding my own business, you know how you walk, <laughs> and uh, as I was walking, there was like this girl pressed up against a wall, and I was like, oh, that's, that's interesting, and as I got closer, I was like, oh, that girl's getting fingered right now, that's, <laughs> wow. <laughs> and some of you guys are probably like, oh, like what kind of asshole guy <laughs> with no respect for women, he probably had like eight polos and three pairs of Sperry's on, this guy was probably a douche. Uh, and you guys will be just as shocked as I was to find out that it was another lady fingering this lady in Westport, right? What? <laughs> Unheard of. <laughs> it's like seeing a unicorn <laughs> or a lady fingering another lady. <laughs> it was like both of those things. <laughs> it's crazy. I didn't know what to do. Like I did because I made I made eye contact with the girl, which was like a bad move. <laughs> 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 And it wasn't just like I looked at her and then looked away. I like stared at her. 
And so it's just like, uh oh. <laughs> like, and normally, normally in this situation, like I would say something because if you see something like that, you should say something like that's unsafe, <laughs> most of the time. But as I'm making eye, talk, eye, eye contact with this girl, I could tell that she was liking it because uh, she was saying things like, "Yeah, I like this. This is good." And I was like, "Okay, <laughs> well, I guess." <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, <laughs> just gonna go into this bar. I feel, <laughs> I feel like if if you're getting fingered on the sidewalk, I should be able to watch for just like a little bit. <laughs> it should be all right <laughs> for me to just kind of stop, not for like too long, like just maybe like 15 seconds. Like, oh, that is. <laughs> I love this country. Okay. <laughs> Have a nice night. Just curtsy and walk away. I don't know. Fingering, I, I get fingering. Like, I understand it as, an, and not on the sidewalk, <laughs> but I get it like other places. Like, I understand it's like, oh, <laughs> I'm getting you, <laughs> or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> but, like, I don't, <laughs> I don't, I get that. There's like, I don't, the one thing I don't get is like fisting. Like, I don't understand. Fi like, I, I, okay, like, I get how, I know there's like a slow buildup. You can't just falcon punch a vagina. Like, I get <laughs> that. I just don't understand, I don't, I don't know, I'm very sexually reserved, I'm very, so, like, call me old-fashioned, but I believe the only time you should have your whole hand inside of somebody is if you're saving their life, like, that's <laughs> the only time. And even then, you should wash it first, like, you should <laughs> clean it off. I just, who is it for, you know? It's, you know how there's, like, the fister and the fisty? <laughs> you know, like, it can't be for the fister, right? Like, what do you do? Like, you should, like, yeah, this fits like a glove. <laughs> like a really weird glove. This is like a mitten without a place for my thumb. This is great. I love it. Hey, do you guys remember sock and boppers? This is like that, but more wet and fucked up. It's, <laughs> it is more fun than a pillow fight. I love it. You can't do any, like, what, you can't, like, move, once you get it in there, there's nothing. You just, like, gotta, like, let it sit. <laughs> Just like, uh. <sighs> oh, look at the time. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna go ahead and take that out of there. Just remember not to swim for like 30 minutes. <laughs> you should be good. I don't know. You're not supposed to talk about stuff like that. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's weird. We have a weird relationship with sex in America. Like, it's kind of everywhere, but you can't say anything about it. It's true. Like, there will be like boobs on a billboard, and all you want to do is like tell your friend, like, I like those boobs. <laughs> those are great. <laughs> but you can't, so you just stuff them deep down inside your, like, your stomach where you keep pictures of tits and your feelings. <laughs> and then you just like, that's why we have so many serial killers, because it's just guys that want to say, like, I like boobs, but they can't, so they just end up wearing them as a vest. Like, that's... <laughs> Just, it's how it works. <laughs> I'm sorry to break it to you guys. <laughs> like, it's just, there's weird stuff. Like, sadism is a thing. Like, sadists, sadists are people who can only get off by hurting other people. I'm like, okay, but, like, it's weird that the opposite doesn't exist. Like, there's nobody that can only get off by helping other people. Like, that's, there's nobody, like, cutting the ribbon to a new hospital wing just coming in their pants. Like, it's <laughs> so strange. It's just like, yeah, say thank you. I can't finish until you say thank you. <laughs> Just imagine that life. Imagine if that was you. That would be so sick. Just, <laughs> just you help a, a, an old lady across the street and just, just have multiple orgasms. <laughs> It'd be fun. I'd be doing good deeds all the time. So much more would get done <laughs> if, <laughs> if people could come by helping. <laughs> I don't know. I, I read an article the other day uh, about this guy, he accidentally killed his girlfriend because uh, he was choking her during sex. And when I read that, I immediately decided I would never choke my girlfriend during sex just because I don't want to find out that's what I'm into, you know? <laughs> like, I don't want somebody to be like, oh, Jake, what do you like in the bedroom? And my response to be reminding my partner of her own mortality. That's <laughs> what I like to do. I think that's weird. So I thought about it. Uh, and I decided, like, the most I would do is I would, like pinch a woman's nostrils closed during sex. <laughs> it's kind of the same thing, right? She'd be like, yeah, you like that, huh? Is that good for you? Your ears are probably gonna pop soon if I keep this up. And then she's just all like, no, stop it. This isn't what I wanted. <laughs> Thank you guys very much. Have a nice night. <laughs>